What's up guys, Bader FPV here. And this is a quick little tutorial for those guys who are looking at doing some 3D text tracking and all you found online are GPS drone videos and you really do some FPV stuff. I've noticed that a lot of the GPS drone stuffs have pretty linear video movement while a lot of our stuff has some rotational stuff. From a couple different tutorials I've watched online, this is what I've gathered uh, for you. So let's go ahead and dive on down, get into DaVinci and figure this out. Okay, now that we're done in DaVinci here, you can go ahead and pick yourself your media. And I'm assuming since you are watching this tutorial that you already know how to open up, set up your timeline and at least get media down here and, you know, ready to be edited. Now what I'm doing here is this is a little commercial. I'm working for a campground and I'm going to text track some words right in this area right here. So what I'm going to do is either you do your whole clip or of your video, you're going to want to select an area you want to work with. Now I've started it here. I'm going to go ahead and select my blade tool by pushing B or you can select it right here. I'm going to slice here where I'm beginning. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and move forward to where I want to stop. about here I'm gonna cut this push a to bring your normal tool in your pointer or you can select it here I'm gonna select this clip bring my little cursor into the center so when I go into fusion mode which I know a lot of people are scared of but it's not that hard <clears throat> once you go into fusion mode here you've got your clip set up beginning and end um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure your timeline is set at the beginning of where you want to start tracking and then with your media in node selected you're going to push control space and it's going to bring up your tool selector and you're going to type in planar tracker like I have here it's just the tool I use a lot planar tracker and click add if it popped up out of here all you have to do is drag and drop it down into this yellow line and it'll bring it into media in and media out connecting lines. Now from here is where you start your tracking and this is all up here in your inspector tool. What you're going to do is change your operating mode from track. Oops, no, this is correct. What you're doing is you're changing your tracker from point to hybrid point slash area and you're going to begin selecting what you want to track. Now I want to put in some words next to this little shack right here that they have firewood in so i'm going to zoom in on this by holding control and using my scroll wheel uh, if you let go of control and you press in your center control wheel it moves it and i'm going to pick an area now the more points you have selected the better it's going to track so i'm going to go ahead and start here go across the road here i'm going to go down to here 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 across the road and you want to pick points that have a lot of contrast in between them like this green of this area here and the very bright white gray of this area here will do well i've got my area selected now when you push that last one there i'll go ahead and do that over just so you guys can see what i'm talking about here hybrid point area now I'll start it down here so you can see it better boom 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 selecting all my areas now the last one you select you can keep adding them but if the last one you select has this little circle over it that you see here that's how you know it's completing your area you want to track now it's going to pull data points from this whole area once you start tracking now you want to make sure you're in the beginning of your video like here and you set your reference time before you start tracking. It's going to put that, if you're using one clip, it's going to be zero, but I'm using part of a long clip. So it's going to be where it is in the reference to the whole thing. Once you're done with that, make sure you're in hybrid point area and you're going to do either frame by frame with this, or I just like to let the thing do itself. Now it might be a little laggy because I'm screen recording right here, 
but this is going to track to as far as it can track or to the end of the clip. So let's go ahead and see how it does. Now you can see it's pulling all these data lines. Every one of these little dots is a, a reference point that it's picking up the rotation, the shear, the size of this whole area, and it's going to track it. All right, that's about as far as it's going to go because it lost a majority of the tracking points here, but that's fine by me because I'm going to have my text fading out before it even gets out of scene. So now that that's done, <clears throat> the next thing you're going to want to do is place the area you want to put your image or text or whatever it is you're using. And by that, you're going to go to your planar tracker again. And in track, here in operating mode, you're going to bring this down to corner pin. And this is going to essentially give you a 2D plane and a 3D realm of what where your image is going to lay. So you just kind of lay it out where you want it. Kind of helps if you zoom in once you get there. I'm going to be putting text on this row. That looks about right. Now, you can put text, images, whatever you want. I did Otter Lake Campground earlier, and I just dragged and dropped it down there. But I'm going to do some plain text here. So I deselect everything by double-clicking in the background here and choosing my Text Plus tool. It's going to place a text node in there. <clears throat> and this is where I'm going to type in firewood. <clears throat> I'm going to change the color to black just for now so you can see it better. And once you get your text file in here, you're going to grab your output uh, clicker thing here. I don't know, really know what it's called. Bring it down into your planner tracker and you're going to see it pop up. And this is where you can start editing it in. I always like to bring it just big enough to fit inside what I've created there. Do a zoom out. Sometimes it does this here. I don't really know what that means. But I don't want it to show up on my video. So I'm going to drop it down in size a blip or two until it disappears. Now, this essentially is all you really need to do at this point, because if I go back now and watch this here, you're going to see the firewood stays there on the ground, but it does wiggle out and stay in the image the whole time. That I have yet to completely figure out how to do, but from here, this is a base on the basics on how to do it. So that's firewood there. What I like to do is go into the text and add a drop shadow kind of match the way the sun's going there with the angle which is going to be about like that intensity a little higher on the shadow strength and then bring the distance out a little bit more now i want my words to be gradient because that's what i've been using so far so if you go into color i believe it's in oh i'm in drop shadow so if you go into the text shading gradient you can then select your gradient color and i'm going to use the color of the tree and i'm going to bring up the darkness like that it's kind of hard to read so I might not use that color I'll try the color of the grass Just fiddle with it, you know, get your get your bearings straight. Everybody's a little bit different. But I think I'm gonna keep that how that is and do a little bit more tweaking. But that is essentially it, guys. That is how you do your text tracking. Now I've done it in a couple different spots here. I've got Otter Lake Campground here.
We got cabins here. And now I've got firewood here. It's not that scary. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to continue on making this video. And see you later.